All right, we're here post game with Stetson head coach Lynn Bria after Stetson's hard fought 82 77 win over Lipscomb. Coach, what were your thoughts on the game today? I thought we were fortunate to get a win. I, uh, you know, I felt like that we uh, we started the game really well. And I thought we started the half really well. We, you know, uh, pressed them a little bit in the second half. I thought we got a little bit of a cushion. But they're a team that they shoot three so well. They're always in the game. So, you know, um, I thought you know we missed a ton of bunnies that we normally put in the basket. Um, but uh, overall, pleased with our effort. Very you know fortunate to get a win. Um, you know, so I, I mean they're an improved team. They can score inside and outside. They can take you to the basket. So you've got to guard. You've got to guard inside outside. On Thursday night, the Hatters were the Chasers. Today, Stetson was the Chasees. Mm -hmm. How was the team able to withstand uh, Lipscomb's run mm -hmm. in the second half? Well, you know, they're, we, we anticipated that. I mean, like I said, they start making those threes on you, and then, you know, and then we, we start covering the threes, and they start going to the basket when you start fouling them. So, you know, I thought we did a good job of just hanging in there, you know, and kind of playing through their run. Um, but, I, you know, I felt like, you know, we didn't shoot well from the free throw line. You know, we gotta, we got to make those. So we're fortunate to get this win because of the bunnies and the free throws that we miss. You know, you got, you got to put those in usually on the road. Um, but we were very, very fortunate to get a win. I thought, um, I thought Amber had a great game. But she got in foul trouble, so that hurt us a little bit. But I thought Sarah came in and gave us good minutes. So I thought her bench did a great job, actually, all of them coming in and giving us good minutes. Not only did Amber get to 20 points, Jama had 22, and mm -hmm. Durante had the huge first half with six Huge. She carried us in the first half. I mean, she was the only one that was really scoring anything. So, um, you know, I thought I thought Bree played really, really well. Um, but I thought Jama overall had a great game on both ends of the floor. On a game like this where there's so many fouls called and mm -hmm. so, uh, you know, tightly called, what, what's the message to the defense? Well, you know, it, it's, it's it's a little bit unusual. This is probably the first game where it was called like that. You know, I think we've had a lot of games and you know, it was, it was it was both ends though. They were calling it like that, so you know, it was it was it's a bit disruptive. I don't think there's ever any flow to a game like this for either team, you know. Um, but uh, you know, I, I think you just you know you, you just try to do the best you can in regards to being in better position and trying to you know <laughs> trying to put your players in better position and telling them to move their feet and keep their hands off. And that's really all you can do, um, you know. Because but it, it was it was called a lot tighter than any other game we've had all year, quite honestly. How important was it to get this win as we as the team wraps up the first half of conference play mm -hmm. to be five and two at this point? Well, it was it was important for us because we didn't play very well from our last game. So I felt like you know I knew Lipscomb would be good. I knew they're improved. I knew you know this would be a hard fought game for us. And I you know honestly I was very worried about it because of our last game. We didn't play very well. And sometimes you know you lose a game like that and you play like that you lose your confidence. So uh, I was a bit worried about coming into this game and playing a Lipscomb team who I think is playing very well and has a lot of confidence in coming into their home floor. So, you know, we were very, very fortunate. Uh, I think it just says, I mean, this team, they have a toughness to them. You know, we've seen that. So hopefully we can become a little bit more consistent on both ends of the floor, though. Thank you, Coach. All right.